Have you got a penny in your pocket? That's what my uncle used to ask me right before he'd give me a Uncle Henry knife. So today, what I wanted to do, the folks at uh, Taylor Brands, uh, they, they sent me some of these knives and, and I just, I'll, I'll tell you guys, they're so near and dear to my heart. Um, it's, it's really refreshing to see people carry on uh, their, the traditions of, um, of long ago. Uh, Taylor Brands was formed right around 1975 and uh, as a manufacturing company and over the years I think it may have been back in golly 78 79 maybe even up it may have even been 1990 I think uh, they actually acquired the Uncle Henry name and uh, I, I guess it was it was around 1990 the more I think about it um, that they acquired the Schrade Uncle Henry old-timer imperial knife brands the ones that that was one of my favorites when I was young was the muskrat. Now they have a muskrat skinner and um, and I will tell you now this is I wish I still had that knife and I may have given it to one of my best friends. Uh, this is the uh, 877 UH from uh, Uncle Henry and uh, guys it's got it's got nickel silver on here it's got brass bolsters it's got the uh, Uncle Henry name plate on there uh, you know what? I know a lot of you guys are going, well, that's not real bone on there, so that's not a good knife. Well, let me tell you, uh, when the manufacturing companies back in the 70s were starting to fold up and fall apart, they had to find a way to make their knives more affordable. As German steel was being shipped in and, and, and uh, German knives were coming back and being more popular, they had to find a way to, to survive. I mean, and Taylor Brands is carrying on that tradition with just a just a fantastic knife. And I, I really I don't want to ramble on too much, um, but I, I do want to tell you that this is a great knife, guys. If you're a trapper, if you're a skinner, uh, maybe you want to go squirrel hunting. The Muskrat Skinner is just a fantastic knife. Now Stagalon is a nylon type. Uh, uh, it looks like bone. You can call it fake bone or whatever you want, but it's very durable. They were using Stagalon back in the 70s. Um, so there's really, you know, nothing about it now. Yeah, these, these may be uh, made over in China. But let me tell you something. I've been carrying these knives for a long time. Um, I didn't just open up the box of knives and start doing a review on them just because they sent them. I have lived with these knives for a while, and I use them. These knives are meant to be used. They're not meant to be thrown in your drawer somewhere. Uh, guys, right out of the box, these knives are sharp. So um, now this is a really heavy, this is actually an art paper. Um, my kids use this uh, in art class. It's a very, very heavy stock. Um, I can show you the hair on my arm is just now growing back. <laughs> if you want to look at that, that's kind of funky. Um, but guys, these these are these knives are just they're extremely sharp right out of the box. You can you can just cut a really thin slice of paper if you want to, or you can go down there and I mean you can just cut you can cut you a big old uh, thick piece of paper if you wanted to. Just you know however you want to do it. Uh, and, and I wish I had something. I wish I had a squirrel up here to skin. I was looking around and. Uh, and all the hides that I had in the freezer, they're all gone from the winter. We've already gotten rid of all of them. And yeah, if I'd have had a green hide, I would have been able to uh, show you how well these, how well these skin. Um, these knives are just, they're, it's just a good knife. Um, this, on the skinning side, this has a liner lock. It's a, it's a brass liner lock. Uh, guys, these are made out of 7CR17 high carbon stainless steel. Um, the fit and finish, uh, you know, they have heat treated springs in them. And I mean, the, the, you know, my uncle used to tell me, he said, you know, you can really tell a good knife by the way that thing closes. It's a good spring in there, good solid spring. And uh, it opens really good. Guys, these these things are just just amazing. Um, you get a get a better line on that. If you're uh, you know if you're if you're skinning skinning a, a, a whatever you want to skin squirrels or or just whatever. Um, 
again, this is, you know, that's, that's thick paper. That's like cutting cardboard. Uh, TaylorBrandsLLC.com. Check them out for an entire line of the Schrade Uncle Henry knives. Guys, this knife, I, I think it retails for maybe 30 bucks. I mean, you know, 30 bucks. So you could go online, and I, I, don't have a, I don't have any type of store or retail. Uh, you know, I'm not affiliated with, with any type of resale company. Uh, but you could actually get this knife online at, at, say, Amazon or something. I like to shop Amazon. I think you can get it for maybe 25 bucks or less. Guys, this is the kind of knife that you can, you can hand this down to your kids, your grandkids, uh, maybe you want to buy one for a friend that uh, maybe talked about this when he was a kid and, and, and lost it or something. Uh, man, it's got a good positive lock on it. They're just extremely, extremely sharp knives. This is a work of art. The fit, the finish, the pride that went into making this knife. Um, I know for a fact that they spend a lot of time away from home. The folks at Taylor Brands watch the quality control that comes across. These are, are built to their specs. They have the drawings of the old knives. They build them to their specs. Guys, I'm telling you, you, you can look down this and, and it's smooth. Um, there, there's no, you can feel the back of it and there's not a, there's not a blemish in this knife. Um, these are actually made I mean, people are putting these together. They're making them. And uh, the grind lines, I mean, they're just, they're absolutely fantastic uh, on the grind line. So, uh, again, guys, these knives, I just, I can't stress enough. Uncle Henry, the, the pride and care that goes into making this knife so that you can have that story to hand down to your family members, your friends, whatever um, the 870 or the 877 uh 877 uncle henry muskrat skinner um, i'm not going to keep rambling about the muskrat that was one of my favorite knives um, my all-time all-time favorite knife uh, this is the uh, 285 uh this is a small this is a trapper this is the uncle henry trapper um, guys, this has got nickel silver bolsters. Uh, it's got, um, uh, uh, it's got the high carbon stainless steel on there, uh, brass, uh, bolster pins in there. Um, it, it's just, it's got, uh, the heat treated back springs on there. Guys, the same care, the same awesomeness, uh, in this knife. Um, and uh, you know, I mean, they're they're just they're just sharp knives. I mean, all day long, you know, you could sit out here and, and make a mess with paper. Now, the reason the Trapper is my all-time favorite. Uh, growing up on a cattle ranch, uh, we had to castrate a lot of calves. Um, if you use a blade like this, uh, you could really you could go the wrong way, and you could cut a lot a lot of you know you could hurt the old calf, but. Uh, the spade blade, that is it right there. Now, that blade right there would allow you to grab and cut and reach in and cut. And, you know, I, I've skint, guys, I've skint a lot of deer with one of these. I have skint uh, numerous coyote, bobcat, fox, coons, you name it. I've skint with a trapper. Um, my all-time favorite knife. Um, again, these knives come out of the box. They are extremely sharp. I have, I have carried these knives in my pocket. I have used these knives. Um, again, we didn't just pull them out of the box and run out here and go, hey, we're going to do a video. This knife right here is right around the $30 mark on their website, I think. Uh, CR17 uh, high carbon stainless steel. Um, it, is, it is such a joy to use these knives. They're easy to sharpen. Uh, you know, I'm really, this one is not as scratched up. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really get a chance to skin anything this year with any of their knives. Um, we're gonna revisit, um, actually we're not gonna revisit them. We're gonna actually skin a lot of critters out uh, this fall. Uh, got a lot of hunts lined up. I got a lot of cool things coming. 
And uh, you're going to see me using their knives pretty much exclusive throughout the next year or so. And, uh, well, probably the rest of my life. Uh, but the Trapper, this, this knife is, um, it's about three inches long. It's got a four inch uh, blade on it. Uh, guys, these knives are just fantastic. They, they fit in your pocket. They're, they're not cumbersome. Um, you know, guys, it's like shaking hands with an old friend. I mean, there's just something about holding an Uncle Henry. TaylorBrandsLLC.com. Look on there. Click on the uh, Uncle Henry. Go down there and look at them. Guys, they, they've got knife retailers all over the United States that you can buy them. Uh, but if you buy them off their website, you, you build that relationship with those guys. Uh, you know, there's a lot, lot to be said uh, for the craftsmanship of the Uncle Henry knife. Guys, this is Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, maybe I can answer some questions for you. I know I kind of rambled on about this video. Um, we're going to try to shorten them up just a little bit. When you're, when you're excited about knives that you had when you were a kid, the stories that my uncle used to tell me about skinning rattlesnakes and uh, skinning, skinning deer and, and all that kind of stuff. Guys, it just, we live in a world that's so fast paced, it's, it's refreshing to slow down and remember the good old days. And Taylor Brands remembers the good old days and they're sharing it with you. We'll catch you next time.